after the police killing of Dante Wright during a traffic stop. Now new calls for defunding and abolishing the police altogether, with one even coming from a con congresswoman, Representative Rashida Tlaib, tweeted, quote, it wasn't an accident. Policing in our country is inherently and intentionally racist. Dante Wright was met with aggression and violence. I'm done with those who condone government-funded murder. No more policing, incarceration, and militarization. It can't be reformed. So a congresswoman protected by a military fence and thousands of National Guard soldiers wants to abolish the police. Today, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki was asked if the president feels the same way. Watch. What do you make of those comments? Do you disavow or calls for no more policing? That's not the president's view. The president's view is that there are necessary, outdated reforms that should be put in place, that there is accountability that needs to happen, that the loss of life is uh, far too high. It is far too high. She still didn't say anything. Abolishing the police, probably not the answer, but what can be done between the extremes to keep citizens, police, and our city safe? Joining me tonight in studio, Fox News political analyst, and this week he is the host of Fox News Primetime, 7 p.m. on the Fox News Channel, Lawrence Jones. Welcome back. Hey, my friend. I love this studio. This is nice. The nightclub. Yes, that's right. <laughs> We're going to have bottle service. Right. It's going to be sweet. Between the commercial. That's absolutely right. That's what we do it, because we can't drink on camera, allegedly. Um, all right, so Lawrence, let's talk about this, because mm -hmm. uh, there is inherent racism throughout society. You cannot deny that. And and I saw you earlier, uh, you had a, a brilliant monologue. You were talking mm -hmm. about Tim Scott getting stopped six times in the Capitol. Yeah. You know, if, if you and I made the same wrong term, only one of us would get pulled over. Yeah, it, it it's hard for me because yeah. I have such respect for cops. Grew up wanting to be a cop. I'm a criminal justice major. And so it's, it's a difficult conversation because there is nowhere in my life where I make an excuse for the way I look. Yeah. Right. I want to go out there and do my job just like everybody else. But when we have these conversations, it becomes such a tribal conversation of, of either you back the blue mm -hmm. or you back the community. And my 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 fear of that is, first of all, is the basic humanity. Right. You can't say law and order and not give people due process. Yes. Right. Just because someone commits a, a criminal act doesn't mean they shouldn't be able to go home that night. Yes. And we can go into different cases of where it was justified and when it wasn't justified. But when Republicans don't provide a response to what's happening in America when it comes to that relationship, it leaves room for bad ideas. And the squad and the radicals that want to defund the police, of course it's ridiculous. They don't know what they're talking they about. They don't know what they're talking that about. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Because if, if any one of their family members mm -hmm. were in harm's way, they would pick up the phone and they would right. call 911. And if not, right. then that is an admission that everyone gets to own a firearm. These are it, it's it's one or the other. Like, and these you are... have to be able to defend yourself. Either you call the police uh, when you've been assaulted or your life is in danger, or you, you see something suspicious, or you have a, a firearm with you at all times. And these are the same people that don't want you to have firearms no, as well. Exactly so, right. And these are people that have security details that are protected by the Capitol that have begged Nancy Pelosi to get 24 hours security. Mm -hmm. So their ideas are dumb. But there has to be something to fill that void. Mm -hmm. You cannot just say business as usual because people are fed up. And, you know, I got to tell you, this shooting particularly, it's heartbreaking because I, I feel for the family of Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. He deserved to go home that day. But I also feel for the officer. And I know when pe people want this to be black and white, but I don't think she mean, meant to shoot him. And no, you know but what? she also, uh, this is a person yeah. who had 26 years of 26 years. So how does that happen? Okay, so I was talking to my brother, who's yeah. a former police officer. He's a smart person. Uh, he said that he, he didn't know anything about the details of this officer. He said, I bet she's been on the force for a long time. I bet she's retired on duty. I bet she's lazy and hasn't had proper training. And, you know, she kind of did what she was supposed to do, but she reached for the wrong weapon and discharged it and, and killed the guy. Killed the guy because he was pulled over for tabs and air freshener. You know, someone like that, regardless of and their who interactions, allows that shouldn't to happen? die. Who, who allows that to happen? Why are people being pulled over for that? And I understand people want law and order. But we got to choose. What is more important? Is it more important for Americans to go home, all Americans to go at home? Important? Is, was that worth it? Was that stop worth it? Uh, oops, it's not enough when someone loses their life. Yeah. And so... Like, like I said, I, look, I have grace for everyone in this situation. 
I don't think that she needs to be tried for capital murder. Yeah. But she does have to pay the piper because and someone she's, she's didn't go home. And she's going to get charged tomorrow. She, and we're going to be I'm watching. sorry, but, but she should. She Even should. if it was gross incompetence, Doesn't matter. that kid is dead. He's like, dead. His story ends, and it could not happen at a worse, worse time, time in a worse place. Like, this is... The I, city is already on edge. It's and there are awful. two different cases. Yes. But life was lost. Yes, and, and the anger is at already there. At the hand there. of the state. Yeah, and, <laughs> you know, and, and you said it brilliantly earlier that Rashida Tlaib just came with a bunch of gasoline and, and just poured it, it all the over. Fire. Yep. And that's sad. You know, you know who could solve this? Who? Black cops. Yeah, they Truly. could. Truly. They could. And having this conversation... And look, the, I, I don't just say community policing. I say community relationship. Yeah. The community should step in first, and then the police should back them up. It has to be hand in hand. I grew up with that. Mm -hmm. I know good cops, all right? I, I grew too. up wanting to be those cops. I have a lot of So calendars. I know it can be done. Yes, absolutely. Lawrence Jones. Thanks, Kennedy. Don't be a stranger. I won't be. Come by. Uh, yeah. But you got to bring booze. <laughs> the, the Patron. Silver. <laughs> yeah, it's for Lawrence. Very good. <laughs>